How's it flying, guys? This is Lance Corporal Hawk 30 with, uh, I believe this is a Halloween themed reaction. Woo ha ha, because this is another John Tron video, and this video is called Real Ghosts. Now, at the time of recording, it's number two on trending on YouTube, but earlier it was number one. So, John Tron made it to trending, baby! Some good something to celebrate. Anyways, though, uh, so, yeah, this is a John Tron video that we are going to react to. We are going to react to, and uh, looks like this is going to be opening up with uh, what I assume is a promo. So, anyways, though, we're going to get into this. Link to the original video will be in the description. Go watch it before you watch me react to it. Always do this, guys. Always support these creators. John Tron has put a lot of videos out that I like. So, uh, yeah, let's go and go. King Blitzkrieg has declared war. Oh. John Tron. That's improbable you would have picked me. This Halloween yeah. season, why not join me in Rise of Kingdoms, an awesome mobile Rise MMO real-time okay. strategy game inspired by history. The game is completely free with 11 that walk, civilizations, John? amazing real-time that... battles, a never-before-seen on mobile infinite zoom function, and super sweet alliance battles. If you think you have what it takes, I dare you to try to take down my kingdom. Rise of Kingdoms is gonna hook you up with reinforcements if you click the link in my description. You'll get 200 okay. gems, two silver keys, two times 50,000 food, and two times 50,000 wood by using the code <clears throat> MPQS3SF4CH. Remember the code for those who want to play the game. The description. And they were even nice enough to set me up with my own little alliance that you can join, so be sure to check that out as well. Okay. So what are you waiting for? If you like this show and you like what we do here, please consider going down to the description. I like the I like the, the jack lantern on the right. Today. And the uh, gear. Don't forget to use around the promo the code initials. if you can spell it. Okay, let's go. If you can spell it. Oh, this is the first This is the first Halloween themed of these, ain't it? Yep, it is, and it looks pretty good. Pretty good animation. Still doesn't beat the original, the other one that he had, but it's, it's a really good, well done. Haunting, I'm home! Today we're going to be looking at something called Haunted Lives, True Ghost Stories. True That's Ghost right. Stories. Real Ghost Stories. Real. Not fake ones. Not fake Real ones. Ghost Stories. You gotta make that distinction. This little known American miniseries, eventually shortened to just Haunted Lives, then subsequently retitled to Real Ghosts. I mean, what are you gonna do? It's hard to settle on a name for something you really care about. I mean, personally, I would have just named it Warning Do Not Watch. Warning True do Ghost not. Stories. The first season stars an narration of Leonard Nimoy of Star Trek. Really? Fame, somehow, uh, till I guess he realized he was on a sinking ship because he bailed on season two. The aim of the show was to take Perfect. paranormal stories that were supposedly true and well, dramatize then. them into little shorts, not unlike unsolved mysteries. On the face okay, of it, it doesn't really sound like a bad idea, but it seems they mostly lost their heads in the execution. <laughs> Get him, John. So that's who we need in the Jason movie. Just get John John, he'll take care of it. Uh, <laughs> you're leaving a bit of a mess there, John. Going down. So, let's just get <laughs> okay. ready and dive right into this episode of Haunted Life, shall we? Let's, this is gonna be good. Yeah, this ought to be interesting. Full disclosure, um... I'm, I, I would consider myself to be someone who believes in that the paranormal is a possibility, okay? Uh, being religious, like, I, can't, I would definitely not eschew thoughts that there aren't such things as ghosts or spirits roaming or what, what have you. I would definitely not say I wouldn't ever believe in that, but there, there's people who wouldn't and would just laugh at the possibility, but, you know, let's, so disclaimer on that, but with the ser Considering that John Tron has taken a look at it, I won't be surprised if it's more silly than anything else in this scenario. Reaching out from the world that lies. What is it with the doors in these shows about the spooky shit? They Please. glide 
through the portals of our imagination. They shouldn't exist. They shouldn't even exist? That's a bit of a heavy statement. Listen, I understand they're spooky, but who are you to say that morally they should or shouldn't exist? Look, you've made that poor boy cry with your ideology. You proud of yourself? Mm -hmm. I miss seeing Jacques, that's one thing I'll say. Well, we're uh, off to a good start with that horrendous noise that has shattered oh, my ear. Okay. <laughs> when one thinks of ghosts, one imagines ruined castles or a lonely graveyard in the dead of night. But recently, psychic yeah. Sylvia Brown investigated a series of hauntings in a most unlikely location, an ordinary toy store in Sunnyvale, California. And? You're not wrong. That, that's definitely not what I was expecting. <laughs> also, I think that is a ghost just in itself. <laughs> oh. This is a place in which they had lost, or reportedly had lost, six managers. So out of desperation, they called me and said, would you please come in because we think we have a ghost. How is this the first thing they went Police to? Police like consultant. six managers have quit this Toys R Us within like a three month span. This place is fucking haunted. I can't believe there was a time like yeah. recently in the 90s when anyone would officially call a psychic for anything. Someone would still do that now, wouldn't they? They'd still do that now. Some would. Don't hurt me like this. Some would. Some would. And already an ad. World of. I see we're looking at World of Warships now. Wait, are we, are we getting submarines? Hold on, I'm actually watching this because I play World of Warships. Are we getting submarines in the game now? Oh, that is gorgeous. Or this just to get interest in? Because I still haven't seen any actual aircraft carriers show up in the in the game, but, uh... And by the way, I thought this was just a dramatization at first, but I found out that that is actually renowned psychic Sylvia Brown playing herself. Everyone else is an actor in this whole thing, but Sylvia Brown is playing herself for some reason. Uh, now, if you don't know who Sylvia okay. Brown is, I don't blame you. Uh, during the 90s in America, she was this famous medium-slash-psychic who uh, claimed to be able to talk to heaven and angels via her spirit liaison, huh. Francine. Francine. But don't worry, I've got good news for you. They were able to officially debunk her uh, in 2002. Uh, they used an advanced method called looking up anything she said and finding out it was made up completely. Get, gotcha. Gotcha. I'm just as shocked as you are. She's gone. I'm not. Really. Do you know where she's at? Yeah, in heaven on the other side. I've been kidnapped and I've been missing for 10 years and I'm, I'm here. I'm free now. Thank God they got to that in a timely manner, okay? Think of what havoc she could be wreaking if she were out here today. Oh, wait, she can't, because she's dead. I wonder oh. if she predicted that so she wasn't on a toilet when it happened. It's a story of unrequited love. And not like some of the violence we see at other, let's say, ghost stories. It's sad. It's it's tragic. What are you going to do? Every now and then you just get a sad ghost story. All right, they, they can't all be happy. It was the new frontier of California. Okay. Yanni Janssen was a barely literate, emotionally disturbed farmhand who lived... All right, okay, why don't you tell me what you don't like about the guy? Consider yeah. me a Yanni Janssen fan. You sure it wasn't just Johnny Johnson and he just wrote it wrong because he's illiterate? Yanni Janssen lived for just one thing, his desperate love for his employer's daughter. Elizabeth. Yanni, you have to stop writing me these letters. I don't mean to upset you. Yanni, I can't read this shit anyway. You are literally illiterate. <laughs> this isn't even a letter, this is a picture of a house. What is that, uh -oh. an elephant? Okay. <laughs> Yanni, where did you see an elephant in 1800s America? That, uh, I don't the have very much to offer, but what riches I do have are in my heart. I don't love you, Yanni. You have to understand that. You can't read, but I know you can hear. I, I don't mean <laughs> to hurt you, but I'm getting married in six days, and it's best that you forget about me. <laughs> Goldfish. Hey, There's some people like me. That. Very good point, Yanni. That is indeed exactly why she is now backing slowly away from you. Elizabeth! Don't go. Don't go. Real ghosts. Real ghosts. Real man doesn't know how to chop wood. Actual serious ghosts. Fiction? Think again. This man has clearly not seen my work safety video. No, he has. Nope. 
Is he gonna kill himself? He gonna be, he gonna be the stupid? He gonna hurt himself? Is he gonna do it, ladies and gents? Yep. Yanni, no! You can't go out like this. Bye. Oh, he couldn't read or write or do much, but Yanni, no. <laughs> but Yanni, no. I think no one stopped to help this poor man as he was fatally bleeding from the shin. Funny enough, that's actually where the phrase comes from, if you don't know. The Achilles shin, okay? That's a very weak part of the body. One blow, and you're out. It's a big flaw in our architecture, okay? If I was designing humans, all right, I would have just left the shin out entirely. Would have just connected the femur directly to the ankle. So oh, much. Oh, I can't even picture it. That's ugly. You can try all you want. You're not going to get the a thought is ugly on that, on that design. The shin is a part that if you hit it in the right spot, it will hurt. Oh, get over it, Yanni. It's just a dent. You'll live. Oh! 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 Shoot! Time passes as time will. Time is known to do that, of course, on occasion, for it is usually the proper time to pass. And so it has. What was once an orchard became a busy toy store. Filled with the sounds of laughter, uh -huh. the hum of cash registers, and the presence of something else. Nah. So basically, yeah, now the orchard where Yanni shinned himself is a Toys R Us. What a premise. Okay, then. Hello? Is anybody Hello. here? Hello. Uh, yeah, Hello. most likely, because this is a highly trafficked warehouse at 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to clip the back of your hair there. I'm just relocating some fishing line. As you can see. <laughs> oh, hold on. Where's the fire? There's something back there. Where? In the storeroom. It touched me. Oh, that's just Mr. Cosby. He's here promoting no. his new lineup. Wouldn't pop. While your right oh. hand is doing this, your left hand can be doing this or this or, you know. Or, you know, know. There's something wrong with yeah, the I think we know, Bill. Comes on by itself. No cause for alarm, ma'am. Uh, th that's just the automatic faucets. May I please have the rest of the day off? Oh, whatever it is that scared you back there. Couldn't be worse than me. So there's a logical oh, explanation for it. Come on. That's probably true. <laughs> to pit some managers. Oh, it's only the store rules. Nothing to be afraid of. Delta Squadron, come in! I need a direct line to Burn the you place and down. So yeah, you burn the place this at is, that uh, point. What they are trying to pass off as real. Now you gotta remember, this ain't fiction, okay? This is supposed to be a documented account it's of the event. It's supposed to be a documented account. Happen. Okay, guys, we got a little problem. So I am putting the storeroom off limits for the next couple of days. Welcome to Ghosts R Us. Can I haunt you? <laughs> this is not a joke. Listen, crab cake, this ain't funny. Did you not see there was a fucking frisbee dance on the wall for the dinosaur back there? <laughs> Dinosaurs. Nine hundred dollars. Yeah, sorry, kid. That's not gonna cover it, even with inflation. No. Haunted cash register, isn't it obvious? Well, you think she like, maybe like pushed a button wrong or something? No, no, that's that's, a, that's the work of a ghost. Bill. Okay, you what? From like that? Huh? What now? And what about those, Bill? Did you stack them like that? Wow. That's all. Well, no, that's a hot mess. I'm not sure uh, anyone's going to be able to tell what that is. Do you want to show the kind viewers out there? You want to show them what this is supposed to be? <laughs> I still got you, though. Still fucking got you, though. <laughs> Long time ago, some people named Elizabeth and Martin Murphy lived here in Sunnyvale. Okay. They had this hired hand named Yanni Janssen. All this stuff happened exactly where the store is now. She may even know who the ghost is. Oh, son of a bitch. Get out of here, you pesky ghost. Try to start carrying a baseball bat with me. Help me. From what I can tell, this has all the signs of a real haunting. All of them. All the telltale signs. What are here. signs you got? I just love the fact that Sylvia Brown is actually in this. I mean, her being in this implies that this dramatization is exactly how it went down. She was there. 
She would have had to look at the uh, nah. scene with the floating pogo stick and go, yep, I was there. That's exactly how that happened. What a tragedy. What exactly is a haunting? It's spirits that don't know they're dead. See, in this case, Yanni Jansen is in a time warp. It's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. Let's I mean, the time the warp here. again! Yep. This motherfucker's in a time warp. So how long will he be doing this? Is he this gonna work? do that joke? Months, years, maybe. It could be a week if you're lucky. Just call Sam and Dean, they'll take care of it. Totally situational. I love how she's talking about this haunting like it's indoor plumbing. She's like, ah, it'll clear itself up in a couple weeks, months, maybe. I wouldn't worry about it. That night, Sylvia Brown tried to summon the spirit of Yanni Janssen. Yanni, are you with us? Yanni, can you hear me? I can feel his presence now. In 1991, all these goons got together and sat down in the back of a Toys R Us and tried to summon the ghost of Yanni Janssen. That's right, you heard me. They all had a seance with Jeffrey the motherfucking giraffe and... How it sounds absurd. It <laughs> does sound absurd. Hello, Yanni. Come closer so we can see you. I come from the future to tell you that brick and mortar establishments will become unsustainable due to online retailers such as Amazon.com. You're looking for someone. Yeah, I was just <laughs> looking for a customer sales rep. I was wondering which one of these bikes would be best for off roading. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Murphy. She's on the other side. We have to go towards the light to find Beth. Go on now. Come on, Yanni. Aye. Get. Aye. Don't make us hard and ask to Go towards the light. Shoo. Shoo, Yanni. I said shoo. Huh. Well, that was easier than expected. Thank you. Hopefully he's gone. Hopefully. Nobody likes poor Yanni, all right? I mean, if you get down to it, all this guy really did was love a woman and accidentally kill himself in the leg. So, Sylvia got paid and fled to Madagascar to avoid Bam. tax fraud. And Yanni's ghost was cast out of the Super Soaker Isle forever. Or <laughs> was he? Was he? I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. Yeah, fair response. I guess not. And in the end, Tragedy turned to triumph, as Yanni finally learned to read and write. Good job! <laughs> Yanni's appearance in the 1982 seance, as evidenced by this famous infrared photograph, was not his last haunting. This famous infrared photograph, no doubt you I all know heard about of this one. Needs no introduction, all right? It's as American as Mickey Mouse and apple pie. There it is. Everyone's got one of these laying at home. Why am I even showing it to you? This just looks like a bunch of people waiting around, especially that lady. She's not even looking. If, you, if there was a ghost right in front of you, <laughs> wouldn't you, you think you'd be looking at it? She looks like she's just talking to her friend, like, so what do you do next Sunday? I'm pretty sure they're trying to pass this guy off as Yanni Janssen. But I think um, if my deduction skills are correct, that's just a dude standing there. Good day. In January of 1991, we revisited the Sunnyvale Toys R Us where employees, past and present, gathered <laughs> to talk about their experiences in the intervening years. Uh -huh. This part is amazing. They go back to the same store yeah. to talk to the employees about their paranormal experiences with Yanni over the years. And they basically all have nothing Yanni. to say. But they know this is their 15 minutes of fame, and they are not wasting it. And I said to the manager, you say what? Did that frighten you? And he said, it sure did, Pat. You say what? Lily, what? I'll tell you what I say. I say that I love you with all my heart. Be my grandpa! I had gone in to use the <laughs> restroom, heard the water turn on, kind Hello, of Cheryl. looked under, saw nobody in the restroom. <laughs> the water turned off, the door opened, and... Let's just say, let's just get two things on the record right now. One, he's currently serving 25 to life, and two, I didn't know a penis could be malformed in that fashion. <laughs> oh, I was by myself over the door one day on Green Street, <laughs> and a man walks in about Dick this Christian. high, reminded me of Yanni, so I looked at him, I says, are you Yanni the ghost? And he replied to me, I'll never forget it, as long as I live. He said, no, sir, I'm just here to buy a toy. He still walks up and down these halls. Someday, of course, he will leave. Someday he'll leave? Sylvia, Maybe. what do you mean someday Maybe. he'll leave? What Eventually. Did pay you for? One I saw day. With my own eyes. In the future. There, you said, Hank, be gone, and he disappeared back into his wormhole. I'm starting to think you might be a scam artist. Some yes. things never change. Well, this has been fun or painful, depending on your definition. Of Wait, that, it all focused but, uh, on this I've one thing. Going. So until next time, I want to wish you all out there a very Merry Halloween. Oh. Come on.
Okay, so it only focused on one story then. Okay. Son of bitch! John Tune! Amazon! <laughs> okay, that was where his use of uh, Megaton at the last one, but goop video. Yeah, mm. guys, I think John's house is haunted. His door won't open. Or a wire's glitching out. Something. I didn't really have a lot of commentary to add to this one, did I? <laughs> no, sorry, I didn't. Um, yeah, I'm kind of surprised he only focused on the one, <laughs> on one thing. Normally when he does this, he throws at least a couple in there. Like a... His Goosebumps videos, for example, he does split them up. They are a continuous thing, but he splits them up between one and two parts, but there's more to it, you know? So, uh, unless there's going to be another one coming here soon, I kind of doubt it. Actually, I kind of doubt it is for the month. Oh, I could be surprised, though. He could surprise us. I don't know. I don't think there's going to be another Halloween-related one this month. Again, I could be wrong. It may be a couple weeks from now, and we'll see all of a sudden a, no a sequel to this one. But we but it doesn't show a part one or anything like that, so eh, we'll just see what happens. This was kind of funny to, to poke at, though. Anyways, <laughs> what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed, comment. If you have a silly story, if you have silly stories from that show he just reviewed, uh, the uh, tr the real ghosts or whatever, um, or just your own funny Halloween related stories, to let me know. Subscribe if you're new and tap the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. That way you don't miss any reactions, gameplay, or otherwise from me. And also, go check out my Discord. Link is also down in the description. Come join, we'll talk, laugh at stuff. Post memes, have some fun. This has been Lance Corporal Hawk Clarity, signing.